We are all suffering under this capitalistic hellscape. Uh, hmm. Okay. Why can't I hear myself? Oh. I know I'm streaming. Um. I see. Ba, ba, hmm. Oh, ah. There we go. Hopefully that works out timing wise. <clears throat> welcome. Uh, welcome to the stream. I don't really have a a topic. <laughs> hair is messed up. Sorry. Uh, I don't have a top. Not that my hair matters. Who cares about my hair? Seriously, seriously raise your hand if you care about my hair. Uh, welcome to the stream. It is uh, January 30th, 2024. We've made it this far. Still, Y2K hasn't happened almost 25 years in. I'm still waiting. I still am hoping for it. Uh, end of the world could come at any moment, according to a video I watched this morning. At least that's what it looked like until the end of the video. Apparently, it's not going to happen, though. Anyway, I was thinking, now what? Uh, now what? Because my YouTube subscription rate has doubled on Japanese from Zero. The result of my experiment of removing all non-teaching Japanese videos and removing all low-performing videos and removing all videos that weren't basically me going, hey guys, this is what we're doing. Today we're gonna be teaching Japanese and here's the thing we're gonna be teaching. I've doubled, uh, I think it hasn't even been a month since I one night just said I'm going to delete like half the videos, I'm going to private half the videos. So I don't know what to do. I mean, obviously I need to make videos, but I haven't. And the rate keeps, the subscription rate keeps going up, like significantly. So I don't know what to do. It makes me think I should do that on this channel as well. And what is... What does that mean? Like, what, what videos do well on this channel? Do I just make it videos like this? Is this the type of video that I put up here? No learning French, no learning Korean. Maybe Polyglot George is just my name and it doesn't mean anything. Don't know. Don't know, guys. I did get my streaks running today. I'm happy about that. But is this, but okay, back to my question. Is this just a channel where, what is this channel? What is this channel? Do I still read news? Do I just make it that? I think I might want to just make it that, but then I lose this where I can talk and do things. Even, I don't know, bro. Dang it, because the music's still playing, I couldn't, I couldn't play my sound, let's go to the music, the sound is more important. Even I don't know, bro. I don't know, bro. I'm open to suggestions, but, um, oh, one thing that I, I do want to do, there's this channel that I watch, actually the one I was watching this morning about the end of the world, it's called, um, what's it called? What the Files or something like that, What Files or something like that, Why Files maybe? Um, it's so well, it's like the guy, there's a guy talking and he's got like a goldfish next to him in a bowl that is always saying stupid things. It's obviously him making the voice in post-production, which is like really good production value, but it's so well produced. Like I need a script. You give me a script and I can read it. That's what I need. Or I saw another YouTuber that I like to watch. Who was it? Like Danny Gonzalez or somebody. But he has a guy that looks up stuff for him so that he can watch it and react to it. And then they cut that up into something interesting. I, but I've always wanted to do that. I just don't have that person, you know? what? Where is that person and how good can they be? 
Like I feel like I feel like a guy like Burt Rolls could do it. Burt Rolls could do it. But Burt Rolls, I don't know if he wants to work, to be fair. I don't even know if he's watching. I don't know who's watching, guys. I'm just rambling to myself, guys, at midnight here. Just waiting for Pokemon to roll over so I can do more battles. I've already exhausted my 25 battles for today, guys. Uh, today, uh, I got my streaks back up, which is good. I made three or four phone calls, which is good because I dread making phone calls. I just, I hate calling to try to get people to give me the money that they owe me for the mistake that they made. Like literally I'm dealing with three refunds I need right now. The hotel in Georgia was absolute trash, the quality in. It was the dirtiest hotel I've ever seen. I got in there and the sheets looked like multiple people had slept in them without being washed. There was a pubic hair that I had to wipe off and I was still gonna be okay. I was like, you know what? Oh, I'll tell them in the morning. It was already late at night. I took my shirt off. I wrapped it around the pillow. I figured as long as my face isn't touching this stuff, I've slept on, you know, I've slept and sat on, you know, benches at the airport, which are probably filled with people's, you know, disgust. I, I'm not, they're not there wiping that down, right? So I figured I'll, I would be okay with that. There wasn't soap in the room. There wasn't shampoo in the room. I had to go down and get it because apparently... The truck had not arrived. <clears throat> and then I was like, I'll just take a bath. And I took a bath. And the water smelled like it was put in directly from the pool. Like just super strong chlorine smell. And I was just like, no, I, I can't do this. I feel dirty. So I sent a message to Expedia. I said, well, first of all, I booked another hotel. I had four days originally at this Quality Inn. I'm going to just say this right now. Don't ever go to Quality Inn. First of all, they haven't agreed to pay me back my money. And I only said I wanted three nights back. I don't even need the, the first night. You know what? Look, I took a shower. I used the facilities. I, I flipped over the beds that weren't clean, but so they have to redo them anyway. But I was in the room for like an hour. So fine. Fair game. I just want my remaining three nights back because I went and booked. Uh, I had to go to three other hotels, first of all, that, that night before I got a room because there was no for some reason in in the super country part of Georgia, the hotels were booked. I don't know why. In Moultrie, Georgia, they were booked. And I finally had to go to a Motel 6, which, by the way, was super clean. I'm, I, I felt like I was in heaven how clean that room was. And I ended up staying in the Holiday Inn Express, which was also very clean. An amazing hotel. And the breakfast in the morning was amazing. But the thing is, they were offering to change my room at the Quality Inn. And I told the Expedia guy, I said, okay, so really the scenario in my head is like this. It doesn't matter <clears throat> if they give me a new room because it's the same thing as if I was given an offer of a new cheeseburger when I just found a dead cockroach in my cheeseburger. That's how dirty that room was. So I don't feel clean going into another room, especially in a hotel where they don't have shampoo and soap, apparently able to be delivered and even the 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 conditioner had been like squeezed open. like they didn't clean the room oh i didn't even mention the toilet oh my god the brim of the, the rim of the toilet i don't know how the the level of whatever was caked on there doesn't happen in one night it doesn't happen in a month it happens in months of not properly wiping down the toilet. It was disgusting. I don't know what it was. Dried up urine caked on top of dried up urine is all I could think it was. And, and it was those things that even though I was willing to deal with the, the bed that was not as clean as I wanted, I, it was just that and, and just everything. Last straw was that chlorine smell in the bathtub. I'm like, I'm not going to be here for four days. I feel bad. I didn't want to go. I, would, I told the Expedia guy, I said, I'll sleep in my car, in the rental car, which is cleaner than this. I'll sleep in my rental car for four days before I stay in this not quality inn. Seriously. And quality inn is not going to refund my money? Oh, guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to make, I'm going to get the money one way or another. It'll be ad revenue on YouTube where I put this up on the main channel. And I'll put this up on 
Instagram hashtag quality in. I'll put this up on X even. I'll put new stuff up on X hashtag quality in. And I'll say, where's my refund? That's all I was asking for. That's all I was asking for. And not even a full refund. Just the nights that I didn't stay. Disgusting. That hotel needs to be shut down. Expedia needs to remove it from the offerings. It is an embarrassing hotel. I have been to China, Israel, Canada of all places, Mexico, Japan, the Philippines. I feel like the barrio that I stayed at at the Philippines was cleaner than that. Because I had no expectation that it would be clean. Also, I had no sheets. I had no sheets. And there wasn't a ground and I only had three walls and a roof. And I had to pump water. And it was still a better stay than that quality in. Everywhere I have ever been in the world over my 30 years of traveling is better than that quality in. That is the absolute worst. I have never left a hotel. That's telling you how bad it is. I've never left a hotel. But I will never in my life ever again stay at a quality in regardless of if they pay my money back. Here's the other thing. I'm, I was so disgusted at that, that in that moment, I just thought, you know what? So if I lose $500, I'm okay with it. I would rather double the cost of my hotel by getting these new nights than stay at this completely unsanitary, disgusting hotel. I certainly didn't want the free breakfast that was included in the morning. Because if they have that much pride in their room, what am I going to get in the breakfast? Maybe I would really be dealing with a cockroach in my food. Maybe I would be and not know it because they have no pride. Whoever And the people at the front desk were like dead. They were just like, uh, you know, they were just dead. Like they didn't want to be there. They know that hotel sucks. It was me and one other car in the entire parking lot of this two-story. Two-story hotel, by the way, that doesn't have an elevator. That's how bad this hotel was. I, I was okay with that. Whatever. I'll, you know, they could have given me the ground floor. That would have been if there's no one else there. But I chucked my suitcases upstairs. And then I chucked back down to get s soap. I mean, zero. And, and even like the parts of the room that you would just expect were clean weren't clean. Like the door. The, the, the edge. I took pictures, by the way. It's disgusting. The door was just dirty. Just disgusting. <sighs> no one's not no one's am i actually streaming right now no one's talking normally there'd be a couple chats over here well i might make it short if there's no interaction i i'm gonna chill i'm gonna do I'm gonna experiment here Oh, hey, someone said hi. What's up, Sergi? Sergey, sorry, Sergey. Sergey, not Sergi. I don't think I've seen your name before. Tonight, uh, from this point forward, it's going to be just interaction night. I, there will be no topics initiated by me. That I'm going to try that for the first time. I probably should do that in normal conversation as well. Here we go. Starting now. Oh, uh, just working and listening to you in the background. I'm a background guy for sure. Love you, dude. Been following you since 2016. 2016. That's right when I started doing the Japanese from Zero stuff. I rarely write in. I think the last time I did was a couple of years ago. That's okay. You're doing it now and I appreciate it. Any plans to travel more this year? Yes. Planning on going to Europe. I just talked to the wife about going to Okinawa as well. Uh, kind of my plan right now. Uh, I got to get my two rentals rented because they're both going to be vacant. In, one's already vacant and the next one becomes vacant in about six days. 
So I kind of got to focus on that. But maybe around Mayish, I'll go to Europe. I think that's my that's my current plan. It's just a plan in my head. And then I'll go to Okinawa sometime later in the year. I mean, I don't know what I'm expecting. There's only five people here. There's not that many questions. <clears throat> I'm being a little bit selfish. Oh, I love this song. Hmm. If you just joined, uh, I'm not going to be saying any topics. It's it's only a response show tonight. Ah, Sergey, perfect time. Uh, don't you want to do some Japanese educational videos together with your daughter? I still remember that growing up bilingual was very, hang on, that heart's very fun and kind of heartwarming to watch. Well, that daughter is in college right now. She's getting her master's degree, so she's not here. My other one, I don't know if she wants to be in videos with me. I would love to, but it's not easy. Not easy. One is here temporarily, but she's doing her own content. If I involve her in my content, it won't be reliable enough to keep doing it, which is what I would want. So I don't. The most reliable person is me. And I'm not reliable enough to do content. Catch any shinies in Pokemon Go lately? No. But I I did catch a hundred. I caught a couple, like over the last maybe, I think I got, I got one shadow that I was able to make into a hundred after purification. I can't remember what it was though. Let's see what it was. I mean, they're not particularly good. Let's see here. So I have an Amoongus 100, a Salaman, Salamence. Actually, that's a pretty good one. Uh, and a Wulu. Is that, I'm not sure if that's what it's actually called. Um, that's what I got kind of in the last two, three weeks. And then in terms of shiny, the last shiny I got, what was the last shiny I got? Uh, a Lily Pup. When did I get that? The 20th. I got two Porygons. They had a Porygon day. A Froki, a Rockruff, a Psyduck, Lickitung. Those are my recent ones. I did get a shiny Samurott, whatever that is. I, don't, I think that might be a legendary. It's not like, I still have never gotten a Shundo or a Nundo. I haven't gotten any of those yet. Where it's a, a shiny 100, I never got one of those. Yeah, my Salamance is pretty pretty dang good. Pretty happy about that. And <clears throat> that's a four, that's a, a four star, so. And he's a purified. That's how I got him. So I'm pretty happy about that. And I I, I boosted him already. He's already at 3,400, so. 
Um, he'll be one of the ones that there's a requirement later on coming up that I have to actually get some some like I think 10 of my Pokemon to level 50 or something like that. Um, he'll be one of them for sure. I'll be saving up my rare candies. Dark says, I just ordered your book, sir, but just being curious after completing all five of your books, what can I expect? That depends on you, Dark. Um, the real truth is most people don't finish all the books. I would say that's an accurate statement. Um, there's a lot of information in those books, though. If you actually got through them, you know a lot of Japanese. You'd be able to pass an N4 test, most likely. The JLPT N4. There's five levels to that test. The, the, the fourth is the second. So you go five, four, three, two, one. So you'd be pretty good. Uh, a lot of people have told me that that's what they were able to do. I don't think it, it's the books in isolation. I think you have to do, do more than just the books, but um, the books are that base of information. I just, I just myself put, I was thinking about this exact thing that you just asked. Um, I, I've been scanning books recently and there's these two big books that have been sitting on my, on my shelf for a long time. There's, they're like thousand page books. One is this one. It's called um, C sharp 7.0 in a nutshell. I, I've probably never opened it ever. Uh, and then the other one is this one, which I've looked up some reference things, Mastering VBA. So I use both of these programming languages in the book tools. And I thought, if I actually went through these books, and these, these books, each one of them, even though are a thousand pages, they're less than all of the five Japanese books. But I thought, if I actually went through these books, I'd probably be even way better at VBA if I actually did the things that it asked me to do. I'd probably learn so many cool things that the next set of tools for the books would be a billion times better, you know? So I thought now that it's on my iPad, maybe I'd go through it a little bit better, you know? So I think you'd, you'd do well. I think, I think it would be a really special thing if you went through the books. Um, and if you were watching Japanese TV and listening to radio and podcasts and YouTubes, at the same time, you probably get pretty good. And even if there's no end goal of like, I wanna be fluent or I wanna get a job, it's just like, hey, I can speak Japanese now. How cool is that? Super cool. For those of you that just joined, I'm not coming up with topics on my own tonight. I'm waiting for comments in the live chat and then I will respond. 
I will say this one thing. It feels like when I was on Adderall, I've taken Adderall a few times. Uh, I still have like two thirds of my prescription left because I don't take it. I got it like 10 months ago, uh, I think. <laughs> it feels like that because I have all these topics coming up in my head, but I'm not saying them. That's what Adderall did for me. Right now I'm, this is an, an Adderall stream. I'm not an Adderall right now, but that's what it is. So I'll wait for you to talk before I say anything. Matter of fact, maybe I'll read this book. It's a good goal, Dark. I have a bunch of books also on here that I've scanned in that I plan on reading finally. gaming streams in the near future um well I certainly would like to but I've just got too many other things that are more interesting to me going on I was having a discussion today based on what you just said uh is this a am I bringing I'm bringing up a topic I don't think I should I'm not gonna say what I was gonna say but no right now I have no more gaming streams planned I I would like to but let's just say I have other other things that I want to accomplish and the gaming stuff hasn't been popular. A lot of the gaming, if there was any gaming on Japanese from Zero, that was some of the content that I removed. I just got rid of it.
Monica 76 says, hi, George, and greetings from Greece. I was experimenting with Whisper AI and trying to translate some Japanese movies. Automatic translation is really becoming so easy. What's your opinion? Um, I think when I think about AI, I think about its limitations more than its possibilities right now. For example, when I did speaking to ChatGPT on the phone, I quickly timed out at 50 back and forth, which it then wouldn't talk to me anymore. That makes me not want to use it. I'm not a guy that does anything that isn't just unlimited. I will never get a cell phone that's a certain amount of minutes or an internet that has a cap. Yes, I'm live streaming. Okay. Yeah, I, I only do unlimited. So right now, the fact that there's limits bothers me. I don't know about Whisper AI, but I have. there's a lot of things that I'm waiting to catch up with, I guess. Like, I subscribe to a lot of AI tools. I just got rebuilt for uh, 11 labs, but I haven't touched it in about a month, probably, for the AI voices that I was using. But... um. I'm a huge fan of it, of the AI stuff. And it's very smart now. I can ask it very detailed questions about Japanese and it can answer it. I literally thought, did they take this from my books? It's such a good answer. I know that was sounded narcissistic, but it was, it was said as well as I might say it after thinking before I spoke. So it's pretty good now. Um, I mean, honestly, you know, my job of teaching Japanese eventually just won't be here. It won't be here, it'll be gone. Now, I, I had thought that when I first released the books, the first book, I remember that time thinking, I've got maybe five years left because Google Translate will be so good, but it never happened. <clears throat> the tr you know, we'll find out, but there's more and more products like the Samsung phone just came out and it has the ability to live translate your speaking to somebody. Now, what I don't know is, will people be just okay with that? and then never want to learn the language. Or is, is that going to not happen? People still read books, even though there's audio books for everything almost. People still buy physical books, even though there's digital books. People still listen to the radio, even though there's movies. And, you know, people still buy Blu-ray, even though there's digital streaming. So I don't know. I don't know where it goes. You know, I do know I probably got to get my novels out before AI can write them way better than I could, you know? So... It just depends on what you want to do. If you just, I don't know, to me, it, it, even if you have everything translated for you, it's not the same. You you have to understand the native language to really understand, I think, what's happening. That's what I think. You, you don't understand what's happening, but you won't, you'll never, you'll be like looking from the outside in. You know, like I never want to watch a movie that has subtitles, for example. I'll watch that movie where the AI perfectly makes their voice and shape of the mouth and everything. I'll watch that. I'll probably watch a lot of stuff like that. But yeah, I don't know. I, I, I still very early right now for me. Wow, the note at the top made most people leave the stream. It's experiment. We'll see what happens. Deep and down. Hi, George. Do you follow any sports or sports teams? I do not. The closest I got to sports 
was the Japanese female volleyball team in the Olympics a few years back. It's about the closest I get to sports. Not a, not a huge sports fan. I do like those NFL football films, though, where they're like, or even boxing, where it's done in that really high tension. The world did not know what was coming when Tyson entered the ring in 1984 at the MGM Las Vegas. Doom, 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 doom. Tyson was amazing. I never seen moves like that. Doom, 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 doom. It was Tyson's third title match. Doom, 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 doom. And nobody, nobody, including Tyson, knew what was going to happen. Now, they say I didn't know what was going to happen, but I knew what was going to happen. It's like that sort of thing. Oh, man. I eat it up. Very well produced sports. Live sports, don't care. Unless it's female volleyball. Japan, China, Korea. I root for all those teams. Deeper down says, have you seen Friday Night Lights TV series then? Excellent series set in Texas around the high school football team. I wouldn't watch that. I don't I don't care to watch that. Not that level. I'm talking about like this was the she, this was the game that no one thought possible. I ain't ever seen anyone run 102 yards. It was fantastic. How do you even get over 100 yards? I don't know, but this is how it but it happened. That. Doo -doo -doo -doo. That's what I want to watch. Not, no. I just really don't care about sports. And I don't know why. I don't know what part of my DNA. My brother doesn't care either. My mother doesn't care either. Care either. Uh, now that I've met them, I know. So I'm guessing it's just part of my DNA. Thanks for the recommendation, though. Oh, yeah, I wouldn't definitely. I definitely wouldn't watch it if it's a drama. I'm trying to get through Big Bang Theory and Married with Children right now. I got hundreds of episodes to go through of those. Hmm. Hmm. Book's actually really good. Should have read this years ago.
answer. Deeper Down says, do you ever think uh, you'll, you'll, you will ever get fluent in another language? Oh, man. It's a question I've been pondering recently. I, I do have French, Spanish, and German now in my iPad. Books that I bought, that I've scanned. Um, and I do want to boost my Korean and my Japanese still. Um, I damn well think I should get fluent in another language and I think it needs to be Spanish next um, well that reminds me I can't say another topic so I won't But yeah, I do think I will. I just got, I've got to get into it long enough to do it. And Spanish is the one I want. I, I interact with enough Spanish people here in Vegas to really use it. And I'm close enough to Mexico to go. Um, and I have a friend, uh, my Russian friend, Ulyana, uh, in Spain. So there's desire to go there. Me and my wife will be hitting Europe. So I told my wife, hey, we're going to go see Ulyana. So. We'll be going to Spain. So why don't I learn the Espanol? I think once I get started, I'll just go fast. With I think Spanish will be... Once I get past estoy en estar and, you know, los gatos, el gatos, las and la... I think once I get the hang of those, it'll be quick. That's my thought. I've been around it enough in my life. But I've been to say it in an easy way, like lazy with languages. Pretty lazy with languages recently. I mean, I was just in Korea taking, uh, I was going to, wait, was I going to class in Korea? Whoa, hang on. Oh, yes, I was, I was, I was. But then I got corona and I had to cancel a class or two. But I, I was taking uh, classes in Korean. I don't remember at all what I did, though. More heso nunji.
Dark Varad says, are you planning on learning any South Asian languages? What is South Asian language? What does that mean? We're calling Indian South Asian? I feel like Indian needs to be its own class with a billion people. I don't think you're going to call it like... Is that South Asian? Is Vietnamese South Asian? Vietnamese is one I'd like to learn. But beyond that, no. No other interest in... Yeah, Indian, no. Because I don't have any desire to go to India. I'm sorry to say that. I just... It's zero, zero appeal to me. That many people... In that, in that, no. And and it's and I hate to say, it, but it's not really. This might be not true, but from my understanding, it's not really first world country. I I like first world countries. Oh my god, I sound like Trump. I don't like those third world countries. Yeah, no. I don't know if India's first world or not, but what I've seen of it, all the people like piled up on a train. Um. My general negative opinion, because every day I get spam calls from India, there's there's nothing. I haven't watched enough Bollywood movies. Maybe if I watched more Bollywood movies, I'd like to go. Um, the 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 snippets that I've seen seem really cool, but maybe I need to ask my friend John, who's into those sort of things, what's a good one to watch. Um, I do like the Raj character on uh, Big Bang Theory. Yeah, but I just no desire to go to India, so. If I, if I don't want to go to the country, then I have no desire to learn the, the language. I mean, other countries I don't want to go to are like in the Middle East. I don't want to go anywhere where religion is super heavy. Uh, I don't have any desire to go to Russia or Ukraine, even if they weren't fighting. Um, Europe I want to go just because primarily uh, my wife would like to go. If you ask me, I just want to go to the Asian countries. I want to go back to the Philippines once and reconnect with my heritage there. My heritage. I'm not actually like Filipino, but my dad's third and fourth wife. Oh gosh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to jump into another topic. I'm supposed to not have a topic tonight. It's so whatever you want to talk about down in the comments. The, the comments in the live chat, I mean. Until then, I'm reading how to write visual, visual basic. Hmm. <sighs> I'm getting tired though. Sergey so says, <clears throat> any particular reason you don't want to visit Russia or Ukraine someday, apart from the ongoing conflict? Hmm. Well, 
I guess I wouldn't want Putin in power anymore. I'm not a fan of dictator countries. Um, just like if Trump wins the election and takes over, I definitely wouldn't be a fan of America. Um, I don't like religion and I don't like dictatorships. This is why I kind of stopped learning Chinese. I like Taiwan, but will it be Taiwan in the future? I don't know. So it, it's too up in the air. I've only got maybe what, 30 good years left. I'm 50, 51. I kind of have to choose the country I want to go to. Um, I can't think of other reasons beyond the fact that I don't like Putin. If my wife said she wanted to go, I would go, but generally, I guess I'm afraid of Russia. Probably. I don't, I don't feel like I'd feel safe in Russia. I don't know why. Um, it's probably all wrong. I mean, I'm sure once I went, I'd probably fall in love with Russia. TB says, hello, George. I'm glad you got on okay with your mother. Your story, including your dad's wives, is pretty wild, not going to lie. I mean, it's normal for me. But yeah, I'm, I'm happy I got along with my mother, too. Baby, Baby Bear says, were you in Japan in 1995 during the Hanshin earthquake? No, my wife was. I called her to check up on her. Uh, actually, she left a message to me before I called her. On um, In the Hanshin earthquake, when the there was a particular part of the highway collapsed, she was on it only a few hours earlier. So she felt pretty blessed to be alive, I guess she used to say. TV says, do you feel guilty about not responding to comments in other streams? And is this why we have comments only stream? No, I don't feel guilty. Because I, I generally miss them and, or I ignore them on purpose. Uh, I decided not to answer top, uh, to come up with topics because no one was commenting. And I decided I would see what would happen if I just commented. And it's actually kind of nice. I'm getting some reading in. And um, a side effect is I'm not ADHDing on topics like I always do. Ashton Shireni says, Saikin mayotteru koto ga arimas. JFZ no gosatsu me no ato ni kyokasho o tsukai tsuzukeru no ga ii to moimasu ka? Ima tobira to yu no o tsukatte iru nda kedo dandan kyokasho o tsukau no no ga taikutsu ni natte shimae mashita. Good question. Uh, Interestingly, I'm not sure why people go to Tobira after Japanese from Zero. That seems to be where people go. Um, but there, you don't have to. I'm surprised you got through five textbooks. You you probably know enough to just learn on your own and look up things as you need them. But it might be it might be good to get some N3 material. That's where I would go if I were you. Just pick up a pick up a good N3 book for JLPT. That's what I would do if I were you. And just keep using it like you are. Baby Bear says, I saw the picture of the highway collapsing. Scary as hell. Definitely was scary. Vivi Poe says, you spoke about your astral projection experiences once. Have you had any more since then? I don't think so. The last one I had is, is such a long time ago. Um, which leads me to believe... Now, I did have the beginning of one another 
like maybe a few nights ago when I was exhausted. It just really leads me to believe that the whole astral projection thing, let's say that astral projection is real, right? And I really did leave my body and that you can leave your body as a spirit. Um, let's say that that's true. I think it happens under certain conditions and those conditions are when you're very exhausted. So it's either true that you leave your body or your body's, uh, your brain reacts in, in the exhaustion, it, there's some chemical missing or some chemical added or some sort of condition that creates this feeling that you're leaving your body, um, this sense that you're leaving your body. I, the brain can do so many crazy things um, unintentionally. So it's one of the two, right? Either you are leaving, uh, but whether you're leaving or it's, I wouldn't say imagined or it's an induced state in the brain, I'm guessing it's when you're exhausted because that's every time I've ever had it never any other time it's this weird moment in between laying down to bed and before I hit sleep where it happens I literally had it the other day I didn't leave my body but it was the uh, the start of astral projection is always for me has always been the sleep paralysis so I had that again I woke up relatively quick baby, uh, baby bear says do you like Caesarea I, in fact, love Caesarea, and if I probably, let's say I could only have three spots uh, that I could go to with, with a doko de modo, an anywhere door, where like I could slip into a different, I could walk into any location, one of those three would probably be a Caesarea. Like, I don't need to be in Japan, I just need to be in a Japanese Caesarea. That, that would be a cool location for me. Um, if I if it had to be a building, for example, because obviously I could go to a city theoretically in my Doko Demodor and then go to any of those places. But let's just say it was like you can only go into this one room. You know, where do you go? Caesarea. Love Caesarea. Um, what do you get up? Oh, what? Oh, go back to the astral projection thing just for a second. So because I sleep when I want to, um, I'm never really pushing myself beyond my sleep limits. Um, I don't have much uh, sleep paralysis, which doesn't lead to the astral projection phenomena. Um, what do you get up to when not? What do you get up to to when not doing Japan? Oh, in my spare time. Recently, I've been scanning books, uh, organizing. Uh, when my studio fell apart, I moved a lot of stuff in the other room, so. I do spend a lot of time still trying to clean all of that up recently. Um, I've been chilling recently since I came back from meeting my mother. But mostly um, real estate stuff too. I haven't really touched the Japanese language stuff in maybe two, three weeks right now. TV says, uh, I wish I could lucid dream. Uh, the second I know I am lu lucid dreaming, I wake up. That's sad. When I realize it, I can stay in there for a bit and then I just go crazy in there. I normally fly after that or try to fly. Um, and I normally have to get rid of whatever person was with me in the dream because I know they're not real. Once I've realized it's not real, I like get out of here. I don't need you anymore. Interesting topic. I think there are ways to make lucid dreaming. You should look it up. There are certain things you can do to get lucid dreaming. Certain sound waves you can listen to. Oh, uh, PSS, favorite cities in America that you have visited. Um, I was really impressed with New York. Just so cool, big. I like uh, Orange, Orange County, like um, where Disneyland is. Kind of think that's a cool place. I mean, any big city in America is still too, too scary for me. You know, in terms of like, I'll never feel at ease in those cities. You know, there's homeless everywhere. And, you know, that, especially in California right now. So I never feel at ease walking around if there's a homeless guy that might be, you know, mentally ill. I'm not talking about your standard homeless guy that tries to bum a cigarette. But even then, it's uncomfortable. It's like, what do you do? 
I don't smoke, so, you know. I haven't asked for money in a long time, though, so I guess that's good. Um, but yeah, I think my favorite city, though, somewhere like, like, um, Yorba Linda, you know, on the way back from California to Vegas is really nice. Just a really nice, rich area. Uh, that'd be nice. I heard Seattle's amazing. I haven't been there in a long time, and I'd like to go check that out. Uh, TV. Oh, wait, sorry, Baby Bear was above you. Um, Baby Bear says, in my experience, sleep paralysis happens when I sleep with my belly facing up since it's harder to breathe for the body in that position. And that's why I always sleep on my side. That could be true. I have to think about it. I feel like I sleep enough on my stomach to where it's happened on my stomach. But you might be right. You might be, you might have a point. TV, would you get a chopper? Orange County chop. Oh, you mean the the motorbike? No. No, I wouldn't. Um, I've seen too many accidents on a bike that I know it would be me doing the accident. I have no desire to be a uh, street, what do they call it? A meat popsicle? Where you slide across the, the ground with your skin. I just saw something maybe two days ago that reaffirmed me that I'm not the kind of guy that I'm not, I don't pay attention enough when I'm driving much less when when I'd be on a bike so no and my wife wouldn't let me so the answer is no definitely not now would I get a helicopter chopper I don't know good question test track dummy Are we going to get a full-length DJ stream? You know, I'm not good enough at DJing. I just have those two songs that I DJ in. I do have the um, the Akai keyboard that I bought. And um, I did... Oh, God. Oh, see, uh, no, you know what? I, I can't do this topic because I was going to spin it off into something else. But let's just say uh, I am interested in DJing and making music that way. And I haven't figured it out how I would do it. But before that, I want to keep doing my novels. I need to finish my novels, I feel, before I go too crazy. But, uh, even not on a roll is the answer. And I got to get more. Even, 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 <laughs> These buttons are addicting. I need more sounds. I gotta troll TikTok for more sounds. Do you like motorcycles? No. And I don't ride. No, I I know my limitations. I shouldn't be on a bike. Weirdly, I thought I just answered that. But um the only time I've ever thought about biking is with uh Tikyo Sam, where he motorcycles around Japan. And I thought it would be cool to do that once. He talked about it once. I thought, yeah, that does sound kind of cool where I'd get a bike and he'd get a bike, but man, I don't know, man. That's how you lose a leg. Just to be fair. I don't think I don't think I would want to do that. If 
bicycling instead. Cycling around Japan seems to be a thing. Yeah. Uh, my friend Tim does that. But honestly, nah. I was going to ride uh, on a bicycle to every JR station on the Yamanote line, but uh, no one was willing to do it with me, so I decided, I decided not to. I don't even bicycle here, so I have a bicycle, but it's in my garage, just all beat up. Tires are every. I, I reinflate the tires every so often, and then I never ride it. So.
take the time to get to know yourself. Like, understand the things you like and don't like. Because once you understand yourself, you know how to take care of yourself when you find the person for you. I'm staying in that club. I'm staying in that club. Just don't get yourself away. Japanese easy 39. 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 Doing exactly. day particle in the first use of the month location where the action takes place. Exactly. All right, you beautiful angels of the Lord Jesus. Exactly. Dear Lord, I just pray over everyone who came on this lab today who was anointed and divinely appointed to be here. And I pray blessings over their day. And just a feeling of peace. <laughs> Learning a language is dirty. It'll never be clean. You always feel like you didn't do enough or you made too many mistakes. But in the end, you have to remember, language is a tool to communicate and not an art to master. I already made this video once, but I was crying too much and I felt like it was reductive. So I'm doing it again. Let me make this clear. I would never betray you guys like that. I would rather go broke than suck corporate dick. <laughs> That shit. Fuck that shit. Fuck that shit. I am so disgusted and ashamed. Fuck, 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 fuck that shit.
would rather go broke than suck corporate dick. That shit. We are all suffering under this capitalistic hellscape. Even not a